Now, a Sefton Bay scheme which helps vulnerable parents to bond with their newborns has actually been praised in Parliament. The Sefton Building Bonds and Attachment Service, or BABS, was launched in January 2022 and is running a 12-month pilot scheme to help vulnerable parents within the borough to bond with their newborn babies as well as promote positive mental health for new families. Based across Sefton Council's dedicated Family Wellbeing Centre network, uh, the pilot's being run by both the local authority and partners in the Mersey Care NHS Foundation Trust. Well, psychologist Dr Lisa Marsland-Hall of Mersey Care Foundation NHS Trust is with me now. Morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, um, tell, tell me about Babs then. Where did the idea come from? Um, I set up Babs um, eight years ago, um, predominantly because um, there's just such a massive, massive need um, for this service for many parents and babies in the antenatal, postnatal period. And no one ever, ever tells you just how vulnerable you're going to be with your mental health and your relationships when you have a baby. As a mum of four children, I can, I can vouch for this. Um, and predominantly, there's so many vulnerable parents and babies out there, sadly many who, who are moved by children's social care for lots of reasons, that it was just such a massive gap that, that needed to be filled, in Sefton especially. Yeah, and it's it's not unusual, is it, for maybe a, a, a new parent to to struggle to bond with a newborn? But I, I think you know, particularly mothers, they they beat themselves up about this and think that, that there's something really wrong because of it. Absolutely, you know, it, it's such a sad to to boo, to be honest. That you know, I think you know, there's especially when you have a baby that you know you should look like the boots advert and you should be this amazing parent with your baby and the reality is lots of parents are very very vulnerable with the mental health with the relationships and have very negative feelings towards the baby and I think what no one ever tells you is when you have a baby um, what is activated is your own past parenting experience or any insecurities or vulnerabilities you've had in your life they all come back and smack you in the face when you have a baby and the maternity file the red book no one ever tells you this so if you've had a good experience, you know, it's still a bit of a shock. You know, if you've, if you've had good enough parenting, you know, it still is a bit of a shock. But if you've had real trauma or, you know, abuse or a real difficult start in life, it really, really impacts on you and your relationship with your baby. And I guess this service is all about supporting vulnerable parents to separate out those issues and difficulties that really get in the way and have an impact um, on the relationship with the baby. And and how do you offer that support? I would imagine, you know, a lot of it is just having a chat, is it? Well, you know, hopefully our parents, it feels like that for our parents because we, we strive to be, you know, really easy to engage. But no, we're, we're actually a specialist um, therapeutic mental health service. So we offer very specialist psychotherapies um, to support parents and babies. So um, we work with parents um, at the family home predominantly you know, in the kitchen, the living room, um, and we support both mums and dads. So it's it's not a parent a, a service just for mums, it's for dads as well. Um, and it is, it's about really engaging those, as you said, those parents who feel embarrassed, who feel like it's a taboo, to have negative feelings towards your baby or, you know, to have had awful things happen to you in the past that actually get in the way of this most important relationship. Our, our, our ethos in Babs is relationships are everything. Um, and, you know, I think... This service is about supporting and enhancing the most important relationship in everyone's life, which for me is that relationship with your baby from dot from the start. Yeah, the the dads thing's an interesting one because you talk about taboos. D- dads were for a long time a bit of an afterthought, really, weren't they? They are, you know. And my husband can vouch for that. You know, um, I think I think dads. Yeah, nobody really thinks about dads or offers that support to dads in this period. And to be honest, dads are just as much impacted you know by mental health by struggling to bond and by those negative feelings that you have that you think god i shouldn't have these and you know i can't talk about them because you know people think i'm a bad parent or and everyone's worst fear is you know your child being removed by social care so this service is a very normalizing service that says to parents you know what it's okay to feel these things and it's okay you know that you haven't got this bond or it's okay that all this awful stuff happened to you when you were younger and it's really impacting on you because, you know, a lot of this is normal stuff and we're here to support you through it. So it's about not making parents feel like they're 
the bad or that they've done something wrong and actually normalising this stuff that, that does happen. And I think there'll be loads of parents listening, hopefully thinking, God, yeah, you know, I I felt like that. And, you know, even though you, I think it's bittersweet parenting and I think this period is as amazing as it is having a lovely baby. It's bloody hard work and it's really, you know, it, it, it can send your, your mental health and your relationship spiralling. And I think it brings up so many difficult feelings for a lot of parents. Did, did the lockdown have an effect on the socialisation of babies? Massive, yeah, huge. There's loads of research being done now to evidence the massive impact on babies' development, um, emotional regulation, socialisation, mental health, um, and especially for our most vulnerable parents, you know, who who were left struggling during this period with very, very little help, very little support, and, you know, a baby that, you know, where there was lots of negative feelings. So I think we're seeing it in nurseries and, um, you know, down the line, two years later, we're seeing the huge impact. But, you know, lots of support is being commissioned to support those babies, those lockdown babies. So hopefully we can offer that support. And, and you ended up being praised in Parliament. How did all that come about then? Oh, we did. We did. Um, so we've got, got quite a few massive advocates for this service, which we're really grateful for. You know, our... Our chief executive, um, Joe Rafferty, is a massive support, you know, of, of Mersey Care. Um, and we've got, you know, some MPs in, in Westminster, Andrea Leadsom, we've got Peter Dow. We've got a number of people really um, shouting shouting for parenting, for mental health and for Babs. Um, and it was just an invitation from um, the Parent Infant Foundation and Andrea Leadsom to come and talk about this. Because, again, I think people think this stuff only happens, you know, to our families who maybe under social care we may struggle but it, it you know these feelings and this struggle to bond and have good relationships or struggle with your mental health when you have a baby it affects everybody but for me that the biggest priority is those vulnerable parents and babies who are at risk of separation you know if we don't if they don't get this specialist support there is a high risk of those babies being removed and and I, I don't believe that any parent goes into parenthood very few that I've ever met go into parenthood thinking I'm going to abuse or harm or neglect my baby. I think the majority go into parents and think, you know what, I want to be the best possible parent I can be. And actually, I want to be a different parent to what my parents are. And for me, it's just a, it's a travesty that there isn't the right specialist support to help those parents and babies in this period. So that's what we strive to do in Babs. We strive to be there for those parents and babies who are at breakdown or there's a risk of separation predominantly. But also for any parents, like, you know, you, me, you might be thinking, God, this is awful. You know, parenting isn't, you know, like the Roots advert, it's really, really hard. And I feel negative towards the baby or I feel like the baby hates me or I'm struggling to bond. So it's a service that hopefully can reach everybody. And we've had a massive, massive need and demand for it in Sefton. You know, in six months, we've had 75 referrals, which is... Huge, really, for a very specialist service. And if anyone wants your your help, what's the easiest way of getting in touch then? Well, the, obviously, we offer the service in Sefton and Nosley, so we've got a service at Babs in Nosley. And you know, there are other areas that offer similar support. Um, but if you live in if you live in Sefton or Nosley, and um, you've got a GP or you live there, you can access Babs through your GP, through your health visitor, through your midwife. A social worker, hopefully all multi-agency professionals know about Babs and there is a referral form on our Mersey Care website as well. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you very much for talking to me, Lisa. Have a great day. Oh, thanks for having me. Cheers. Uh, that's psychologist Dr Lisa Marsland, Hall of Mersey Care Foundation NHS Trust. 7.33... 